Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to send and receive Ether using smart contracts in Viper. Before we write a contract that can send Ether, let's first talk about how to write a contract that can receive Ether. And then using Remix, I'll show you a demo of sending Ether from an EOA to this contract. For those of you who don't know what an EOA is, EOA stands for Externally Owned Account. Basically, this is an account controlled by a private key. Alright, so first of all, let's write a contract that can receive Ether. How do we tell Viper that this contract expects Ether to be sent to this contract? And the way you do this is by declaring a payable default function. So let me show you that right now. So we'll declare this function as external and also payable. And this will tell Viper that the function that we're about to write can receive Ether. And we declare this default function by saying def two underscores default followed by two underscores and then parentheses. This is a special function that cannot take any inputs and it cannot return any outputs. This function will be called in two situations. The first situation is when a non-existing function is called. So for example, let's imagine that someone or some contract calls the function foo on this contract. But notice that we don't have a function foo here. So this would mean that this default function will be called. Another situation that this default function is called is when you just send ether to this contract. In a minute using Remix, I'm gonna show you a demo of sending ether to this contract. And when we do that, this default function will be called. And for this example, when this function is called, I want to log some parameters. So first I'm going to declare event. I'll name this event payment. And what are some parameters that we're going to be logging? Well, let's log the sender. So name is sender and the type will be indexed address. I also want to know the amount of ether that was sent, so I'll call it amount uint256. And for this example, I'll also log the balance of ether stored in this contract. So here I'll name it bow. The type will be again uint256. And for reasons that will become clear to you later, I want to log the amount of gas that is left when this event is emitted. So I'll call this gas left and it will be uint 256. So when this default function is called, we will log payment with message dot sender. The amount of ether that was sent will be stored in message dot value. The balance of ether that is stored in this contract will be stored in self dot balance. One thing to note here is that when this default function is called, this balance will include the amount of ether that was sent. So for example, if this contract already has one ether and you send another ether, then this self dot balance will be equal to two ethers. And lastly, we'll log the amount of gas that is left when this event is called by saying message.gas. All right, so we're ready to use this contract using Remix. So I'm going to copy the code. And inside Remix, I'm going to first activate Viper. And then we'll create a file called receiveether.by. And then paste the code. Next, we'll compile Viper. Unfortunately, remote compiler is not working right now, so I set up a local Viper compiler. So I'm going to click local compiler. And my compiler is running on port 8080. And I'm going to hit compile. Hopefully, by the time you watch this video, this remote compiler will be working. All right, let's deploy the contract. I'm going to scroll down and expand the contract. So notice here that I don't see any default function. But we can still send Ether to this contract by calling this transact function. 
and leaving the call data empty. So we'll send one way and call transact. And then looking at the transaction logs, you can see here that the payment event was emitted. The sender is me. The amount of Ether that was sent is one way. The current balance of Ether inside this contract after the send is equal to one. And that's the amount of gas that is left, which is a little less than 3 million. Keep this in mind for later when I show you another example. Next, I'm going to show you how to send Ether from a contract to another address. So we'll create an external function, which is going to be payable. And the name of the function will be send Ether. For the input, we'll pass in the address that we're going to send Ether to. And the way you send Ether from a contract to another address is by using the function send. For the first parameter, you specify the address that you want to send the Ether to. And for the second parameter, you send the amount of Ether that you want to send. And to keep this example simple, I'm just going to send message.value. Later, when we call this function using Remix, the Ether that is sent is going to come from the account that called this function, the EOA. That Ether will be sent to this contract. And by calling send, that Ether will be sent to the to address. So for the Remix example, we'll send Ether to the receive Ether contract. So this means that when we call send, it will call the default function inside the receive ether contract over here. One thing to keep in mind that send force 2300 gas. So this means that inside the receive ether contract, this function will have at most 2300 gas to spend. And this is the reason why I'm logging the amount of gas left over here. So that when we run the demo, you'll see that this amount is less than 2,300. All right, so let's see a demo. So I'm going to copy this code. And inside Remix, we'll create a Viper contract called send ether.by. Paste the code and then compile it. And then we'll deploy send ether contract. And I've also redeployed the receive ether contract. So I'm going to scroll down and we have our two contracts here. So for this example, we'll send some ether to this receiver contract through the send ether contract. So I'm going to copy this address, the receive ether contract, and then open the send ether contract and then paste the address. I'm going to scroll up and we'll send one way and then hit send. This is the transaction and I'm going to expand it and I'm going to look for logs again. And you can see here the payment event. It has some parameters, but the one that I'm interested in is, is in gas theft, which is equal to 2,207 and which is less than 2,300. So let me quickly go over what just happened. So we called send ether inside the send ether contract. And for the two parameter, we passed in the receive ether contract. And for message.value, we sent one way. Calling the function send triggered the default function inside the receive ether contract. And it logged these parameters. This function received 2,300 gas. So by the time it logged it, message.gas was less than 2,300. All right, so those were two examples of how to receive Ether in a contract and how to send Ether to another contract. And if you know Solidity, this default function works kind of like the fallback function. And this send function works kind of like the transfer function. Thanks for watching and see you later.